Semester begins in just a couple of days and I know I have to get my courses ready, but here I'm thinking, should I copy a course or should I import a course? In today's session, I will be showing you the difference between copying and importing and what should you select and what things should you consider when you're doing either one of them. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it and let's complete my courses because I don't have enough time. We never have time before semester, do we? Hey, my name is Bumani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I'm on my Canvas course. I want to go ahead and copy this course into, that is my previous semester's course, into the new course that I'm going to be teaching this semester. To do that, I click on my course. I scroll all the way down, click on settings here. And on the right hand side, I have copy this course option. Now what course copy does is Canvas creates a brand new course shell. It takes your previously created content and puts it into the new course shell. Now you as an instructor have an option to copy the entire content or specific content. You have an option to change the course dates as well. But keep in mind, Canvas creates a brand new course shell and dumps all the information into that course shell. Having said that, this course copy option does not count against your Canvas file quota because Canvas is using the existing cloud information or files and putting it into your new course shell. Once you create the new course, you can go ahead and delete the old course and the new course will not be affected. Now, will that be useful in my case? Let's go ahead and see. Let me show you why I cannot use the course copy. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my dashboard in a whole new window. And as you can see, my institution has automatically created course shells for me using SIS, which is the Student Information System. When I use the course copy, Canvas creates a whole new course shell, but Canvas does not transfer student information. That means my students will not be transferred from this course shell into the Canvas created course shell. So if your institution is like me and it's creating the course shells using SIS, that means all your students are in this course shell, then course copy does not work for you. You have to use course import system. So let me go ahead and click on my statistics course. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And here, I'm going to scroll all the way down to settings. I'm going to click on import course content. And here, I'm going to select where I want to import from. Copy a Canvas course. I'm going to select the course. Where is it? Right here. I'm going to select all content. And I'm going to go ahead and click import. So what importing does is simply brings or imports information from your old course and puts it into this course and creates brand new course links. That means your file quota will be counted against you. Now keep in mind when you're importing, it will override any information that is inside your Canvas course. And once your course is completed, of course, it's going to give you the status saying your course completed. So again, quick recap, you wanna copy a course, then you can do only if your institution has not created a course shell for you. But if your institution does, your only option is to import your course content. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned the difference between copying and course importing. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know the educators like you and me who are just trying to see the difference and see what works best for them. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.